Hello, plant-based homestead prepper family, whenever, wherever you may be watching. Welcome to Plant-Based Homestead Prepper, where we make prepping fun. In this video, we're going to re re be recapping what we talked about last night with this French fry shortage. So stay tuned. Hey guys, it's Jennifer Chappelle with Heart Speak Warriors Forum. I hope you're enjoying all of the edutainment that you're getting right here on Plant-Based Homestead Prepper with my honey, Roderick Chappelle. When you're done, pop over to my channel at Heart Speak Warriors Forum, where we will take ordinary people and listen to their extraordinary stories. Hope to see you guys there. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. So, last night we did a full-blown, hour-long segment on this french fry shortage. Now, you know, just, just this year, we've gone through uh, the food shortage, Walmart canned, short, canned food shortage. Now we're in the middle of a romaine lettuce Ebola uh, outbreak, the pig Armageddon in China. And now mainstream media is fi has finally caught up with a little channel like us. We have less than a thousand subscribers and the mainstream media now has finally caught up and they're talking about the French fry shortage. <laughs> so I'm actually going to, um, I'm not gonna be able to turn the camera around, but I have my laptop out and what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna read you some of these articles and I'm not making this up, okay? I'm actually gonna turn the camera around so you guys can see what I'm doing uh, and then I'll come back and you guys can watch me read. How about that? Welcome to Plant-Based Homestead Prepper. I am Grim from Grim Survival, where we talk about SHTF scenarios, food shortages, things I see while driving this thing, and solar minimums, among many other things. But back to your regular scheduled pro. All right, welcome back to Plant-Based Homestead Prepper, where we make prepping fun. Now listen to this, very reliable, reliable news source. You ready for this? CNN Business. And I was doing something last night, I'm gonna see if I can't, can't duplicate it. <clears throat> I know, uh, the folks that are normally on with me, they're going to get a kick out of this. <clears throat> An unusually cold and wet potato harvest season may lead to a French fry shortage in the U.S. <laughs> and I always want to give people their props. This is an article by uh, Harmet Kaor. Let me turn the camera around so y'all can see. Okay, and so you can see that I'm not making this up. Okay, I am not making this up. CNN Business has done an article about the 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 French fry shortage. <laughs> so we're gonna read through a little bit. Uh, Y'all hold on. Hi, I'm Christina, and you are watching Plant Based Homestead Prepper. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. All right, so here we go. <clears throat> Winter is coming. Sounds like a, a reference to um, to Game of Thrones, right? Winter is coming for our french fries. Unusual cold, unusually cold and wet winter during the potato harvest season has left some growers in the U.S. and Canada unable to harvest a significant portion of their crop. Now, processors across North America are rushing to find potatoes from additional sources to keep up with the increased demand for fries. Uh, in the news first reported by Bloomberg, thank you Bloomberg, the U.S. is the fifth largest producer of potatoes in the world and the crop is grown in nearly every state. But this year, the amount of potatoes produced and harvested is down in some of the top producing states, including Idaho, Oregon, and North Dakota. Overall, potato production in the U.S. is forecast to fall about 6.1% from last year, according to the, the, a November report from the, the U.S. Department of Agri Agriculture. That's the lowest it's been since 2010. In Idaho, which produces about a third of U.S. potatoes, production is forecast uh, to fall 5% from last year, USDA reported. And, you know, it keeps going on and on and on and on and on. But that's not it. That's not the only source we're quoting today. Hold on. We got some more. Hey, this is Roderick Chappelle for Plant Based Homestead Prepper, where we make prepping fun. Hey, I stopped at this store and got this cool Halloween mask. Look at this thing. It's got long hair. It's got a beard of a white guy. Man, this is scary, man. And uh, look here. It even looks real. So, uh, but anyway, this is uh, actually Paul from Off Grid Desert Farm with Paul and Adrian, and uh, we're working together with, uh, with Roderick's channel to, uh, to get things going. So, uh, if y'all have time, stop by our channel, check it out. But uh, just wanted to do a little intro for uh, for the Plant Based Homestead Prepper. We, we make prepping fun, guys. So, uh, they do have this mask at your local store, probably, or maybe on America's Most Wanted. But anyway, <laughs> y'all guys have fun, and we'll see you later. Bye bye.
You guys ready for this? You're not, you're not, you're not ready for this one. You're not ready for this one. You ready? USA Today. And this looks like this came out Okay, this came out on December 3rd at 5.05 p.m. You ready for this? <clears throat> Hold the ketchup. We may be facing a French fry shortage. <laughs> I can't make this stuff up. Okay, uh, let's see here. Cold Snap may put a freeze on French fries as farmers deal with, with smaller potato crops this year. From an extended rainy period in the Red River Valley of North Dakota to an early frost in Idaho. Weather negatively affected the harvesting of potatoes, reducing expected haul in about in, in the U.S. about six by six percent, and compared to 2018, according to the Department of Agriculture. Blah 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 blah. They just keep talking about the same thing over and over again, because uh, of course they got all their information from Bloomberg. All right. You guys ready for another one? <laughs> French fry shortages possibly looming after potato crops damaged by weather. All right. Would you like fries with that? Then you better start stocking up on potatoes. Potato crop damage due to cold and wet weather is causing a shortage of the starchy tuber in North America, which makes effect which may affect the ability and price of french fries and this is from none other than fox <clears throat> fox news <laughs> you report no we report you decide i think that's their little tag but it's just amazing to me okay and i'm, I'm gonna quit making fun no i'm not i'm gonna, I'm gonna do one more i mean because it's, it's really funny to me we put this channel up in uh, in july and we've been talking about you know the food shortages for months now months uh okay so here's here's one from bloom here's the one from bloomberg look like this was the original one let's see what bloomberg said uh america braces for possible french fry shortage at the poor potato harvest all right had to move move the, move the, the website around all right, let me see it turn. Okay, potato processors are, are rushing to buy supplies and ship them across North America in order to keep French fries and are on the menu after cold, wet weather damaged crops in key producers in the U.S. and Canada. Cold conditions, um, and it's basically, I mean, since this is where everybody got all their information from, I'll, I'll read a little bit more of this. Cold conditions started to hit growing regions in October lashing potatoes uh, with frost. Farmers in Alberta and Idaho were able to dig up some damaged crops for storage, but growers in uh, Mint, Mint, I'm gonna spell it for you, M-A-N-I-T-O-B-A, -A, North Dakota and Minnesota received snow and rain, forcing them to abandon some supplies in the field. Uh, as the wild winter hurt, hurt crops, uh, an increase in the fry processing capabilities in Canada has boosted demand. The combination uh, with lead, I'm sorry, the combination will lead to tight, su tight suppliers and it like, it's likely that potato prices could climb this year across North America. And you know, it just goes on and so on and so forth, blah, 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 blah. So, you know what? I will show you this little graph. They're showing a graph here uh spud slump okay so let's look at this hi i'm christina and you are watching plant-based homestead prepper subscribe 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 okay so here is a graph on bloomberg okay and it, it says the spud slump u.s potato crop forecast at lower since 2010 so here we go uh and this looks like this this bottom right here is 400 million and we're doing Okay, so this is the 400 million mark in 2010. We were just above that. 11, 12, I mean, 2012 was freaking good grief. It was almost 470 million. Uh, 13 is around about 440. And then 14, I'm sorry, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18 are all right at 450 million 
Uh, and this is a, as far as weight is concerned. This is the weight. And of course, I'm getting this from Bloomberg, okay? And then 19, look at what 19 is. 19 is just above 420. So this is where we are normally. This is where we are this year. And you know the sad part about it is 2020 is probably going to be any, anywhere between here or even, even worse. So there you have it. You have been warned. <laughs> Not really. I mean, you know, this, this for, for we that are in this lifestyle and we that keep, you know, keep up with things, we're already in a no. We know that we're going through a food crisis. We're no, oh, well, a food shortage. I'm sorry, I misspoke. We're going through a food shortage right now. It could turn into a food crisis um, in the very, hopefully not near future. Okay, it could happen. But we are praying, we are hoping, we are wishing, we are wanting uh, for everything to turn around and everything to change. And on this channel, we just want you to be aware and we want you to be prepped, okay? What are three things that you, that you can do right now? Number one, make sure you have at least three to seven days of food in your house. Number two, make sure you start putting away water. You need to have a minimum of seven to 14 days of water, okay? And if, as, as you follow the channel or if you contact me directly, I will help you and train you and teach you. Uh, and then number three, just stay, stay encouraged and keep up with keep up with what's going on okay and stay on this channel because we post often so thank you for being here if you have not done so please subscribe and watch this next video because it is catered for you all right thank y'all for being here i love you and if nobody else tells you today i got this from my wife if nobody else tells you today mm, i love you have a blessed remarkable and wonderful what is this a thunderous thursday all right you guys take care